Back here at home, a court appearance for the man accused of setting off a disastrous line fire in the San Bernardino Mountains. It has been delayed. But the massive fire rages on, transforming landscapes that prosecutors said may never be what they once were. KTLA Shelby Nelson joins us live from Highland, close to where the fire started. Shelby. Sure, Micah, the devastating line fire has been burning now for more than a week, scorching 38,000 acres. It's only 21% contained, and today we wanted to come to Highland to show you the origin of the fire because San Bernardino County officials say that suspect attempted to try and start three fires. The first one above this hill didn't really work. This was the second attempt right here where you can see it's kind of blackened. And then if you look over here on the other end, that's where he ignited allegedly that other fire which took off and turned into the line fire. Roughly 38,000 acres burned. Drive up State Route 330 and this is what puts the line fire's footprint into perspective. What once was forest, now scorched earth, ashes and melted guardrail. Six miles of it that will need to be repaired and all set ablaze by one man who authorities say is responsible. The suspect, 34-year-old Justin Wayne Halstenberg of Norco. He was supposed to be arraigned in a Rancho Cucamonga courtroom, but that was postponed. Just one day earlier, San Bernardino County officials announcing criminal charges against Halstenberg, including aggravated arson, which carries a sentence of 10 years to life in prison. While his family is hardly speaking out, the LA Times reports that his mother who was battling cancer responded to them in a message saying I do want to say this about my baby boy he did not light that fire I repeat he did not light that fire I really don't believe it I'm heartbroken to hear that the family's next door neighbor who only wants to be identified as Raymond says he's known Halstenberg since he was born Justin is the sweetest guy I ever knew this guy will drop everything to help you He's helped me. He's helped other people. He's a mechanic. He works on cars in the backyard. Halstenberg is facing multiple counts of arson, including causing great bodily injury to a firefighter and for causing this running springs home to burn down. The San Bernardino County District Attorney alleges that he attempted to ignite a fire three times last Thursday in Highland. And when the first two didn't work, they allege he tried again, igniting the line fire here along Baseline Road. I can assure the public that we're going to go hard on this case, um, that we're going to be resolute on this case. While cooler temperatures and calmer winds are helping with the fight against the line fire, officials say on the western flank of the fire, it continues to threaten homes in Running Springs. On the eastern side, it's moving toward an area that hasn't burned in decades near Angeles Oaks. We got winds uh, that somebody was saying Running Springs was going to be put back to a warning and people were going to be able to return home, and that is not the case. And just to hit that home, uh, residents are not being allowed back up to Running Springs. Officials say it's likely going to take some time because they do have to repair that guardrail up there, among other things, because of this line fire. Now, I do want to give you one of the latest evacuation lifts that we saw earlier this afternoon. Uh, Highland area from two -way, high, Highway excuse me, 210 East to Calle del Rio Street and the foothills south to the city limit. All have been lifted, and that happened earlier this afternoon at 2 o'clock. Reporting live in Highland, I'm Shelby Nelson, KTLA 5 News. Thank you, Shelby. Firefighters have gained the upper hand in battling the largest of the three wildfires burning in SoCal. The Bridge Fire, now 3% contained after scorching nearly 52,000 acres. Flames have destroyed dozens of homes since the fire started on Sunday. Firefighters say reduced wind speeds and higher humidity have helped slow the fire's growth. They are working now to protect threatened communities and make sure the area is safe so residents can return home. The cause of the fire remains under investigation. And there's progress to report on the airport fire burning in Orange and Riverside counties. Containment is now up to 8%. The fire, which has burned more than 23,000 acres, started in Tribuco Canyon on Monday. There are still mandatory evacuations in Robinson Ranch, in Lake Elsinore, and in the Tribuco Highlands. Three dozen cabins were destroyed in eastern Orange County and others in the Lake Elsinore area. The OC Fire Authority says the fire was caused by heavy equipment used to move boulders.